Hello, my name's Justin. I live in suburban Ipswich. Uh, that's in Queensland, Australia. I just thought I'd run through a quick clean up of my fish tank. I've um, posted a couple of clips before of uh, this, this setup. Uh, I've just added a new bed over here. So, this is the new grow bed over here. Um, as you can see here, there's my radial flow filter. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run over there and just tap down the bottom. I'll just open that up. I'll pause the pump first, open up that bottom tap and let a bit of water out of the radial flow filter. Just down here. I've got the, I don't know if you can see that, I've got the pump controller, so I can turn it up, turn it down, or press the button, it's a feed button, it'll stop there, it stops, stops the water at the fish tank, it'll keep going in the grow bed for a while. Okay, I've stopped that water, I'm going to take out the sediment lift outlet, just bear with me. guy comes out and I just use a two dollar cap to block the hole it saves me having a tap so I'm just going to lift out the top on the radial flow filter I'll take you in for a close look there it is a bit gunksville which is why I'm doing the clean out Then it's just a matter of turning the tap, emptying out a little bit of water. Once it runs clean in this bucket, I start tipping it back into the sump tank under the grow bed. Okay, I did say it's pretty gunky in there. Look at this. That's the good stuff that goes straight into the garden. So on the other side of the tap that I was using before, I've got a, a hose. It goes down into the bottom of my filter. So with a bit of trouble I can reach down. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's in there somewhere, they're just sticking out of the water. So now I just sweep along the bottom of the tank, clean up all the sediment. I've got a bucket under that tap again. Uh, it takes a bit of, it's a little bit annoying, it takes a bit of on and off tapping, but no, it's not too hard. Long sleeves. Okay, I've had a good go at it now. Let's have a look. It's pretty cloudy in there. But that'll settle back out. Here's the last bucket I got. Close up. She's pretty cloudy. Bit of uneaten food fish poo, a bit of everything in there. I've taken all the sediment out of the tank, but nothing goes to waste in this garden. It's 
also behind me one of my wicking beds, wicking barrel. Let's take this cap off and there's a fill tube. We've had a bit of rain recently so that one actually filled up really quick but I've got another one over the other side next to my fish tank and it's got a fig and a mouse melon in it. So that one, uh, it's the mouse melon, it's getting quite big, it's going along the fence so it takes a bit more water. Okay, this is the one I was talking about, you can see already it's a bit dry looking. Now uh, this is a fig and I've got all the figs netted off. It's a fruit fly exclusion bag. Really fine mesh. Let's get in there. Fine mesh. Keep out those flies because we get them quite badly up here in Queensland. So I just take off this cap again. Just got a watering can. Fill it up. Water's not too bad in this one. I think it's settled out a bit. And down here, that's the overflow. So I just wait until it starts coming out of there. I'll put a bit in the top as well. That's it. That was pretty dry. All right, well that's, that's that job done. Okay, in these tanks, one of the, the inflows goes into the bottom of the grow bed, so I can back flush it um, just by using this tab. So that's pretty much it. Just open the tap up for a couple of seconds and it gets out of the grot. I'll just show you that. So here's the water that came out the bottom. It is filthy, which is great. It works. It's time to fire everything back up. Got my SLO. That was fortunate timing. My pump just turned on after the feed cycle finished. So that's about, I started it again, so that's 20 minutes from start to finish. Alright, the, the filter again, my radial flow filter. Um, as you can see, I've got that blanked off there. I've blanked that off just so I can back flush, otherwise it just pours air in through there. So I take that back off. Pump's going, water's coming up. So that comes back off. Now I was having a bit of trouble. Uh, whenever I get these floaty ones here, they go around and they end up going straight down there and getting stuck in under my grow bed. So I've engineered a piece of pipe to sort my problem out. It's very flash. It's 45 degree angle. Just goes on like that. When it fills up to the level of the pipe, the um, top of the 45 is actually underneath the water. So none of these bits go out. I'll just put my cap back in. Okay, now the radio fil flow filter is clean, cap's back on. It's going to be good for another week or so. <clears throat> Instead of flying a tap to control the water flow, I've just drilled a couple of holes in there. I figure you can control the flow 
just by adding another hole. So that saves a bit of money. But I found out if I turn on the tap down here, this one down here, so watch that outflow. There's a bit of a squirt to watch out for. It's gotten me a couple of times.